Hey beauties, good uh, afternoon to you, beautiful people. 2023, year in review. Um, I'm stuffy, so you know, I might sound that way. I'm, yeah. <clears throat> 2023, it has been. I, I, I'm not sure what the correct adjective to use to describe 2023. 2023 has been a very frightening year to say the least and I'm sure we can come up with a number of things there's some things I want to say but I don't want to knock people because you know I don't really believe in throwing salt in the wound of people it doesn't matter who the individual is the person could take me on as an enemy a little more you know I don't believe in adding salt to wound that is not it's unbecoming of one's character and it would mean that I'm no different from the individual but 2023 has been such a frightening year like you 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 woke up each week not sure what would be taking place you're not sure what you're going to hear in the media you're not sure what is gonna is going to happen in our country it has been more than a tumultuous year it's frightening it's probably easier for me to watch a horror movie a real horror movie than to go back through another type of 2023 in the year 2024 think about it beautiful people i have i really i am praying you know for a better jamaica i'm not saying this as a cliche i know we have heard that that terminology for a long time that we want to see a better jamaica in so many different ways whether it's environmentally whether it's educationally financially socially spiritually definitely you know the country has just gone through i i don't even know what to say it is fr and i'm talking on all levels all the alleys that i just mentioned spiritually you know mentally psychologically emotionally financially environmentally jamaica has just gone through the rigors of when it says trials and tribulations my gosh it has been an arduous year it makes in a sense 2020 and 2021 looks good i know that we were on lockdowns for quite a number of weeks and days and so on but i'm telling you 2020 or oh, 2023 lord i can only pray and hope that 2024 will be a bountiful year let us hope and pray that 2023 was more of a seed planting year and that next year would be the harvest year and i know that harvest don't come overnight don't get me wrong i'm just simply saying i'm hoping for the best because we really cannot go through another 2023 we really and truly cannot i think we're worn we are tattered and worn i can't even say tattered and well maybe tattered and torn but we are tattered torn and worn as a people my goodness i i'm literally i'm literally you know i mean i'm i'm going in i'm, I'm hoping that i will be able to make it over into cross over into 2024 that's the first thing you know and you know i pray that when i do if i do that from the first day of 2024 right down to the last day of 2024 will be a blissful year for all of us for for my for me for everyone i wish us god's choice richest choicest finest wisest highest and best in all of our good and godly endeavors you know that he will bless us beyond what we can ever ask what can what we than what we can ever think about or think on or ever even imagine because we really and truly cannot go through another 2023 oh my goodness the entire well almost all of the year was beyond humid it was beyond hot it began i think it began like maybe march going into april as we started to feel it it wasn't that way for january and february i remember but from march into april right down to december well december during the course of the day 
terrible in terms of the heat. It's just that the nights have been cool now in December. The mornings are cool, I must admit. We feel the changes in the morning. See, I'm last part and pass where my sinusitis has triggered. You know, I have a cold. But we, we can, let me tell you people, we have to speak it into being. We have to be determined because we cannot go through. We cannot go through another 2023 from poor leadership, bad leadership, to all manner of evil, all manner of atrocities. I, do, I don't, decadence, poverty, indigence, same thing. I mean, oh my goodness gracious me. I have never seen a year as difficult as that. Even with 2020 and 2021 and 2022. But somehow 2023, oh my God, it has been one of the most painful years. I think it was just too many things happening. Jamaica kept right through. It was on for 24, 7, 48, 14. It never stopped. And I'm not talking in a good way. And I mean, I'm sure when they do the sum of the year in review, you can go back and look at the things, the number of lives that have been lost through murder, through killing. While in 2020 and 2021, predominantly people lost their lives. I'm not saying that is, it's good, but they lost their lives mainly through illness. And you do have a number of people who have lost their lives this year, but it was mainly a lot of killing and accidents and so on. For me, well, maybe based on what I heard, because not all news... Um, are you know is reported so but my beautiful people we need to go into some serious prayer and fasting and transformation because as as i was listening to the late great and very esteemed you know dr maz monroe that i don't think we understand prayer and i was reading this in proverbs that god doesn't answer or listen to the prayers of the wicked so if you know that you're doing evil, and I'm not talking about imperfection, no, because all human beings are imperfect. We're talking about a deliberate, a conscious, intentional frequency in doing wrong. Disrespecting God and doing wrong to others and just doing wrong. We're, that's what we're talking about. Where your heart, you know your heart is corrupt. Where you know your heart is wicked. God doesn't answer it. I'm not sure where in Proverbs I'm, I'm at. If it's... But wherever it is, I just read it this morning. He will hear the cries. He will listen to the prayers of the righteous. But he will not hear the prayers of the wicked. And you know, it. I, and I was listening to a message with Dr. Maz Monroe that it makes no sense that you're praying from one aim to the next aim, knowing that your heart is corrupt. And it's not a prayer where you're asking God to transform you, to change you, to make you a better human being. It is a prayer of pride, like the Pharisees and the Sadducees. As they say, they're called Pharisees because they're far, you see, and they're sad, you see. And, you know, I heard somebody with that analogy long before I heard Dr. Maz Monroe. But we have to go down in some serious prayer. Ask God to forgive us of our ills, of our sins, to make us whole, to make us better. If there is any wicked ways in us, that he will remove it. If we need to go and make a recompense to others, we do that. And we try to live a good life because it will pay off in the end. Beautiful people, we have done too many wrongs. And I'm not trying to be one of those negative pe um, people who come on this, who is always talking about sin and so forth. But I'm serious, my beautiful people. How I've seen people treat others, it is horrible. And I realize of the church over the years, and maybe that is why it has dwindled. We have not preached really the unadulterated word of God. When the Pharisees asked, which is the greatest commandment? He said that you love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind. And to love your neighbor as yourself. Do to others as you would have them do unto you. And once you've done these, you will do the others. And he's so right. And we focus on the other commandments. Not to say that they're not significant, but they're the, like you would have supporting actress and actors, but you have the main, the two main ones. We have not done it. We have done wrong by our brother and our sister and people. And it has affected our country. But, you know, right now we ask God to just, you know, dwell among us and make 2024 great for those who will cross over. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this message, please.